I'll be starting to go to the University of South Carolina. What's nasty? Hey, Eli, he eats like fruit and cottage cheese for breakfast. Oh no! I don't eat it for breakfast. I barely eat this for breakfast. Bro. It's, it is nine thirty in the morning. It's really good. <laughs> yeah, I it does not look good. It doesn't look good, but it's good. What are you doing? Ari, why are you playing video games before you jump school? Oh! Oh my gosh! You can't. You can't look. Aim at anybody. You can't aim it. There's no way to play this. How do you play like this, Art? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh, yeah. So who's the one that keeps hiding the chocolate milk? He's hiding the chocolate milk? Yeah, all, all the way back. Have you done? Have you like put it dry skin because of everywhere? No. You haven't done that? <laughs> One time I shook it up. Shake it up. Shake what? All that comes out. And I, it went in my nose. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, sneezed what? immediately? No, I did it in my That's nose. That's what it was. I, I remember I, I tried to scoop it. I guess it was like little stuff. And got it in my nose. I just started coughing everywhere. I'm always doing it, bro. Oh, yeah. I think Reese will be here today. I'll say it first. Yeah. Yeah, he'll be here today. Say thank you. Thank you, OT. Thank you. OT. <laughs> it's better go viral. <laughs> uh, this chapter is finished. Wait, wait, we need to put some text over it. That would be funny, though. Okay, we can do that. We need to figure out what we would say, though. If you think. It's over, OT. On to the next chapter. In no, what are we doing when we have milk? I want to get a cake. I want to get cookie cake. Mom, can you get us a cookie cake? <laughs> when we hit a million? Good stuff. Birthday giver. Birthday giver is crazy. It's a cake for when we hit a million followers. A cookie cake. Thank you. You are my son. <laughs> What are you say, Ari? Go Cox! Go Cox! Say, go Cox. You are my sunshine, my only. I'm about to connect. What if I make t shirts with those? What are you doing, bro? What's this exercise do? Um, you're going backwards and like working on like knee strength. I don't really know. It just helps like with your, your knee pain. Or you got like tendon eyes and stuff like straightening your knees or something because it's like a, a study that the stronger you can go backwards, the stronger you are forwards. So I don't know. It just helps your knees. My knees don't hurt so. But we're gonna work up to a five rep max. So we'll probably go like 135, 225. Probably, uh, for some of you, probably 275, then 315. Um, and then, but I want to work on going lower, a lot lower, lower and slower. Okay, so five rep max, we'll put as much weight on your back. We just want to go low and slow with it. Here's where we're going to hit pretty heavy today. So we'll go four sets of five on that, but really clean reps. When I say clean rep, watch it out real quick on that. When I say clean rep, I want you to touch your chest. Good clean rep like that, okay? So if you can't do that, just kind of give yourself a little boost there. We'll go kettlebell swings, but I want to go with the big dog on the kettlebell swings. So I'm going to go with this one. If you haven't done a lot of kettlebell swings, don't go with this one yet. 
but I'm going with this one. So let it rock, let it get going because it's heavy. It's heavier than y'all used. And then throw your hips, all right? You got it? Yeah. So you got three sets of 10 there. You got to work up to three at max there. You got four sets of five there. Um, you got your jump squats. Let's go ahead and eliminate the five squats there. Let's just go one squat to get one rep to get the feel for it. All singing low while I pop a bottle off of your chain swinging, clang clang, and it costs a lot. So I'm always at the goal of yeah, and you are not bad. Deep, keep on going till you hit the spot. Whoa, I'm a big bag hunter with the bow. She got a big bed, never drop a low. Mama called me and she happy with the grow. Never ever yeah. fall for a body that's a no. Just pop the kidney about a million options. So the stock and I stop doing agreement. I'm rock the green, just bringing the peace. I'm bumping that pot in the car, pretending I got all the eyes on me. Got a bad baby and she's in the pen. Too many people loaded than me to seeking attention When they want me about the goofies, man, I should've listened And the smell of the money, my strangest addiction Have you never done it? Like what? Creatine? Yeah, I do. Oh. Don't wash it down, okay? She gotta swallow it. Does the creatine don't work? No water. It works. No, it's, it's not bad. No, 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 it's no, he was chewing it. <laughs> You're like, you still have it. No way. Bro, you make those so easily. Go. Well, he got that? Huh? Did you get that? No. Do it again. Oh. Two in a row? So, yeah. Anyways, um, woke up, got a little breakfast, protein shake. Got to the gym, got some work in, you know. Hit some legs, squats. Worked on a lot of jump training today, you know. I'm trying to get bouncy, and then y'all saw the new dreamer. Uh huh. His name's Hop. What we call him. Ha 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 ha. Get freaky. Get freaky. Get freaky, go ahead. Get freaky. No, no, just, just cock it back. Cock it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. And here we go. Yeah, take off. Yeah. So, yeah, new player. Got a quick lift. About to go get some food. Chipotle. Um, Chipotle. Chipotle. Come back later. We got another workout in the afternoon. So, peace. Go to Chipotle order. Go to order. For me, white rice, chicken, queso, sour cream, corn sauce, and then shredded cheese. Alright. Well, I just got a boring meal. You know, I like a lot of veggies. I get to fill the whole thing up. I get white rice, pizza beans, chicken, sour cream, salsa, guacamole, lettuce, really the whole thing.
And then sometimes you get the uh, this thing called beef barbecue. I gotta check this out. Oh, really? Yeah, so this is the, the, the real magic behind Ellis yeah. Brother. <laughs> what's, the, what's the one move you've taught Eli that you're most proud of? <laughs> give, give him a little example real quick. I guess I'll pick up with him. Oh, I like it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we are. Can I put you in here, Ari? No. Yeah, come on. No. Go take a swim. Chill, bro. Chill. <laughs> he said no. Ooh. Two bags of ice in here already. It's freezing. We'll do the I wired five questions real quick. The what? The wired five questions. What's that? You know, like how wired has like their own page and they oh, ask yeah. you like. All right. First question. Favorite color? Blue. Favorite food? Chicken Alfredo. Chicken Alfredo. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you and Caitlin Clark. <laughs> Dating. <laughs> Dating. Not even cold, Favorite OTE team? Dreamers. Mmm. Okay, okay, okay. Favorite NBA player? Favorite NBA player right now? Um, Peyton Pritchard. Okay, bet. That word. Uh, Isaac, do you think smart farts smell worse? I'll probably say if it's warm. Yeah, it's true. My farts smell either way, so I'm pretty proud of that. <laughs> Stop it. It's going to be crazy. Yeah, Isaac, pop out the window again. <laughs> So, right now we just got done with the ice bath. I think we got workouts at 1.30. That should be a little bit more competitive, like ones, three, stuff like that. And then after that, we'll probably stretch, use some and stuff, come back here, take a shower, knock out some schoolwork, and I think we're headed to the uh, Charlotte Hornets versus the Celtics game. So, we'll be in the booth, have fun, chill. Word. Like that. So, should be good. I don't really, I used to watch YouTube a lot. I don't watch that much anymore. Right. Watch Deidre Harding a good bit. Um, watch Nelt, Sketch, uh, Jinxie, just people like that. Yeah. I usually just throw some on my TV and right. just sit in my room. We live. Let's go. We're waiting on you. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, bro. Come on. Dad, yeah, tell me how let's go. Let's go.
They're good. to most this season probably for a you you know the past few seasons for me a I was always trying to prove people wrong and uh, just trying to go out there and just kill and I wasn't worried about anything else nothing like outside off the court this summer is basically just trying to have fun enjoy basketball you know I'm already committed I already know I'm gonna go I already know what school I'm gonna play for next year so really just go in there and have fun uh, enjoy it you know it's my last summer of AAU and uh, just make the most of it get some cool clips and uh, have a great summer feel about like losing that like that round against RWE and like what are you guys doing to like you know make that not happen again yeah, you know, so losing RDB was tough because, you know, we had such a great season. And that team, RDB is just really, really good. They're bigger than us, stronger. I uh, had the rest on their side, too. But, uh, you know, going into next year, it's really like we have this chip on our shoulder like that. We're not going to ever let that happen again. Um, we got some bigs. We got some bigs this year. We got some 7-1 kids, some 6-10s. We got some dudes coming. So we're really prepared and ready, and we know what to expect next year. And next year, OT, they don't have all their 7-footers. Peyton Marshall, Somto. Um, big Jaw, all of them are gone. So if we get one big and get our guys, we have a chance to really win the whole thing again uh, next year. So. It's pretty cool. Are you getting a haircut soon? Uh, I don't know. I'll probably. We only booked one because that's all he had. He's really busy. Like if you have to book like a week in advance. Really? But uh, if he can cut some off up here, I'll, I'll get that because my hair is too long. Or hits me in my face when I shoot. Pause. You never you can skip this one. So you never wear like any like hats or anything like that for like when you're playing? Or... Nah. Uh, I was I was really thinking about getting like a little band to wear so my right. it doesn't hit my head but something like that. But my hair, I usually keep it a little bit shorter than this just so it doesn't hit my hit my face. Right. But yeah. How, what are you looking forward to most this like AAU season? Um, this AAU season? Yeah. To be honest, really just, I feel like people don't realize the competition level of OTE. So going from OTE and then playing regular AU teams where there's no scouting report, there's no nothing like that. So I feel like it's going to be, it's, it'll still be hard, but I feel like it'll be a lot easier going from that transition right. home. Dude, so I'm ready to go out there yeah. and really score because there's not going to be seven exactly. footers in the round. So. Sure. Y'all's AAU team, are y'all forced to like go to practices together or stuff like that or like how does that work? Uh, we're a little different. Um, we don't really practice that much. What we'll do is, because you know people have crazy schedules, we have a crazy schedule. So we work out every day, but usually the day before, like say we're playing in Indianapolis, we'll go up there a day before and we'll get a gym and we'll you know rent out a gym or whatever and we'll have like a full practice, go where we're running through, stuff like that. And then we do scouting reports every tournament. So we take it we take it a little bit more serious than most teams. Right. So yeah, but we don't really we don't really have yeah. practice. I we, feel like that's that might be like a misconception. So I feel like a lot of people think that like AAU teams they all just like straight up just practice every single day together, kind of nah. like a high school team. Nah, if if that if that was the case, we would be the best team in the country by far. Really? And I I say that like I say that knowing that for a hundred percent because I mean you saw what we did last year for OTE. Right. With, I mean we had. Our, our center was 6'4", 6'5", and, you know, we had a bunch of D2 players. Eli was our only D1 player on the team at the time, so now we got 7-footers, 6'8", 6'8", shooters. We got all that. So if we had, if we really had time together, we would be good. But a lot of those dudes are coming to Moravian and the Dreamers next year, so it'll be, it'll be scary.
second workout. Uh, then head over, got a haircut real quick. Because we're going to the NBA game tonight. We're going to watch the uh, Hornets versus Celtics. Uh, hopefully meet Peyton Pritchard after the game. Uh, bring some of our guys over there. Have some fun. Just uh, see a little bit of stuff off the court, what we do, how we uh, act, how it is, how our bond is with everybody else. So, you know, just um, how to go put a fit on. Get ready. So. Let's go. <coughs> I need to do my laundry. The thing is, I don't trust you to do my laundry. I think my room sounds pretty good. For how long do you want? Also, we're going to have a new thing for the next two weeks. Okay. Every time I snap my finger three times, whatever I have to do, you have to do. You have to go what? give me a towel. Towel. You go get the towel. What if I can't find the towel? What if if I need shirt? socks, white socks, ASAP. <laughs> if you can do that for two weeks, no. And take a break for get video games for three days. No video games. I don't have video games anymore. Whoa, 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 whoa! Andy, I get to give you a fade. Oh. I, get go, I get to cut his hair. Yeah, fade, fade him up. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. That was great. Yeah, you know. What, doing business you know what fade is, right? A haircut. <laughs> <laughs> you sure cut it. <laughs> you can always shave it, Aiden. You can always shave it. I know. I'm actually going to try. Yeah, yeah make it Peyton Pritchard. Yeah, about to watch the uh, Hornets versus Celtics. Are you ready? Walk around right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So that's it, man. Just watch the Celtics beat up the Hornets. Um, watch the Peyton Pritchard play. One of my favorite players. And Jason Taylor, one of my favorite players. Anyways, um, no, that's it. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Um, about to go home, get some rest, break down the game for a little bit. You know, same thing tomorrow.